hello guys and welcome to my youtube channel from now on we will see some c++ beginner level interview questions now these question will give you some beginner and basic concept of c++ that will help you a lot to crack your first interview as a c++ developer uh, we will see all of these question one by one and our first question of course will be uh, basic c++ definition and advantages of c++ so let's take a look at this c++ is an object oriented programming language that was introduced to overcome the jurisdictions where c was lacking uh, now the basic difference between c++ and c was c++ was an object oriented programming language also known as oop where c was procedural uh, oriented programming language pop so let's see uh, first we uh, see the difference between oop and pop so here you can see at the left side uh, we have uh, our procedural programming language and on right side we have our uh, object oriented programming language we will compare the difference between these two one by one the backbone of OOP languages are classes and objects. The emphasis is on doing things. The emphasis is on data. Poor modeling to real world problems. That's the drawback of pop languages. Uh, on the other hand, OOP have a strong modeling to real world problems it is not easy to maintain project if it is too complex on the other hand it is easy to maintain project even if it is too complex uh, now the main uh, most focused drawback of pop languages were uh, poor data security uh, while on the other hand oop provide a strong data security uh, uh, next we have it is not extensionable programming language uh, while on the other hand pop languages are highly extensible programming languages uh, in pop languages we have low productivity uh, while uh, in oop languages we have high rate of productivity and uh, 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 the uh, one, uh, one of the uh, second uh, main uh, drawback of pop languages were we cannot define our data types so we have to stick with the data type that are already provided by the language well on the other hand in case of oop we can create our own data types and define rules for them unit of programming is function while uh, in case of uh, oop the unit of programming is classes uh, now let's see some example of pop languages uh, at first we have pascal c basic and fortan and uh, for the oop we ha uh, have some uh, very popular programming language such as c++ uh, which we are uh, studying in this tutorial series and next we have java now java is you can say everything present in java is oop uh, nothing can exist without uh, classes or objects so we have to wrap everything every function every code inside the class while in C++ we can do both, we can uh, do OOP languages or POP uh, uh, concepts, we can implement both. But in case of Java we have to uh, strictly stick to the OOP concepts. So that's all from uh, the difference between POP and OOP. So uh, let's continue our discussion on C++. By object oriented we mean that 
it works with concept of uh, now uh, these are the pillars of OOP uh, first we have polymorphism then we have inheritance uh, we will discuss inheritance uh, in detail further in this tutorial then we have ab abstraction encapsulation object and classes which are obviously the backbone of OOP now the first advantage of C++ is C++ in a, is an OOP language which mean data is considered as objects uh, so the second advantage is C++ is multi paradigm language in simple term it means that we can program the logic structure and procedure of the program everything by our own uh, and third which is the most powerful feature of C++ is memory management is a key feature of C++ as it enable dynamic memory allocation now this dynamic memory allocation is also a very strong concept which about which we will talk later along with our tutorial uh, at number four it is a mid-level programming language which mean it can develop games desktop application drivers and kernel files so uh, you know C++ is uh, used in uh, many games and many game engines are written in C++ let's take a look at some of these engine like this 4A engine adventure games elf one and you can see list goes on you can see all of these game all of them are written in C++ so from this video you can say how powerful C++ as a programming language is so our seventh, second question will be what are the different data types and preset in C++ so we have uh, we can uh, divide uh, these in three category at first we have our primary data types second we have drived and last we have user defined about which we talked about in uh, OOP and POP difference we can also define our own data types and preset in C++ because it's an object oriented programming language so inside this uh, primary we have integers then we have characters, booleans, floating points, double floating points for large floating points. Then we have void and then we have void character. Uh, now in the section of drived data type we have functions. We have our arrays. Arrays are collection of uh, same data uh, types element then we have pointers then we have references and in the section of user define uh, we have our classes then we have our structures then we have unions enums and type of operator uh, now I will discuss deep this first primary data types So uh, first we have int integer, uh, let me just open my pen, yes, now we are good to go, yes this integer uh, type uh, will uh, write as int and it stands for integer and its size is 2 or 4 of byte. Now these are some uh, question uh, which asks uh, which which asked frequently in interview questions so you have to remember all of these uh, then we have float 
and its meaning is floating point and its size is 4 bytes next we have our double data type uh, and uh, the meaning of it is double floating point and it preserves the size of 8 bytes next we have char um, some uh, pronounces as char and its meaning is character such as a b c d or as m all of these are considered as char data type or character data type its size is 4 byte then we have var char uh, in aspect of uh, a database or backend language we refer them as var char but uh, in C++ its meaning is white character so just like uh, 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 floating and double floating points we have character or white character its size is 4 byte uh, sorry 2 bytes then we have boolean uh, no boolean is something you can say which store either a yes or no or uh, on off zero one so it on uh, it uh, for example this is a boolean pardon my handwriting so it can either be a zero or it can be a one so it's very handy when you want to compare something and put as a uh, condition in uh, for loop which we will dis also discuss later in this tutorial uh, then we have uh, so bool its size is one byte and it contain yes or no or zero or one then we have our void which is empty it has nothing and there is a difference between null and empty so next so uh, next we uh, functions are something that we will discuss later let's focus on array because array is also a type of data type so what array is it's actually a collection of same data type element for example i initialize this array so it have some things structure like that it have indexes and every index have some value for example this these are the indexes uh, 0 1 and 2 so by the way it's an integer type array so uh, at first index we have 1 at second index we can have any type of integer let's say 5 and at third index we can have let's say 8 but we cannot add an different type of element in this for example we can add 1.2 because it's not an integer it's an float uh, we can't add any uh, character such as a b because their data type are not integer so uh, you uh, so you now uh, surely have a clear picture of array uh, but this is just an entry level introduction to array array by itself is a very vast topic which we will discuss in a dedicated video uh, then we have pointer pointer is you can say something as complex or easy depending upon you how to get the concept of array pointers now basically uh, pointers uh, are the integer that doesn't store any value so pointer doesn't store any value but they store the address of other integer so the uh, the basic definition is that you cannot store any value inside a pointer uh, but you store address of other integer or any data type of element inside it so basically it refer to the dat data type now let's take a some basic look at classes in c++ i will show you some basic structure of class data type in c++ classes are basically user defined classes or you can say user defined data structure 
लाइक यू कैन से इंटीजर यू कैन से इंटीजर एज अ क्लास बट इट इज सी प्लस प्लस डिफाइंड वी कैन ऑल्सो डिफाइन अवर ऑन टाइप ऑफ क्लासेज इन सी प्लस प्लस लेट मी शो यू सम बेसिक स्ट्रक्चर सो वी हैव दिस की वर्ड ऑफ क्लास फॉलोड बाय आवर यूजर डिफाइंड क्लास नेम इन दिस केस we say it as basic class name then inside of this class we can have uh, then we have this xx specifier it can be either private public or protected uh, then we have data members uh, which are variables and these variable can either be a protect a private variable public variable and protected variable then we have our member functions uh, so these are basically method to access data members so that's all from this video in next video we will continue our journey of c++ basic interview questions thanks for watching see you in the next one